Okay, good afternoon. Thank you for inviting Ocean Project. Let's start. So we are in the thinking uh, section session of uh, Open World Forum, but as you said and as you already uh, mentioned uh, regarding the, your own uh, projects, we are also in the experiment section. And the uh, ocean is not an exception. Uh, we are now for the almost at M24, so the second uh, year of the project, which started uh, in October 2012. So four members are uh, forming the consortium uh, behind the uh, ocean project. Uh, OW2 and Franhofer is the coordinator of the project which is a front of a focus uh, department, and a large uh, organization in research and applied research. So OW2 is the community of open source infrastructure software. Engineering is a large system integrator based in Italy. And IPA is the Japanese uh, member from this project, which is an independent administrative uh, agency promoting strategies and uh, software quality, IT skills in Japan around the cloud computing. So it is an FP7 uh, project so funded by the European Commission. And the mission is to build a, a portal, a community portal for open cloud uh, developers. So on the name on behalf of uh, the four members, I'm welcoming you to this open cloud community. We uh, noticed during the past two years that there is a growing interest in the open cloud development and the need to find the right components and to know exactly who is doing what in the cloud, where you can find a useful component for your own projects. So basically we use three uh, steps to help uh, the uh, developers find the right components and the right uh, resources on the cloud. We use the directory, open cloud directory, to identify, to identify and to classify the, the assets. So what we call, what we call assets may, may be uh, architecture documents, software documents, but also software codes. Then uh, thanks to engineering ethics tools, we are testing those assets and uh, trying the, the code, trying to run the code and to uh, evaluate the code and to improve the code against age criteria. Then we uh, organized work groups and plug fest to help the projects meet together, know, know better together and work together to integrate some part of their codes and also to uh, improve the visibility of their uh, projects. So if you, if we look uh, closer to the implementation of uh, this project, uh, for each of cloud project, we are in fact uh, um, importing uh, uh, metadata from the each asset and providing uh, those metadata in the, into the cloud directory. Then we map the metadata to the framework architecture to the Open Cloud Interoperability Framework. And this helps providing navigation views <coughs> regarding functions, regarding the roles, and regarding the, uh, the, the activities you may need in the cloud. And also regarding standards that are using, that are used in each component. So a classic view is a tree view. Uh, we use a, a taxonomy for each asset which helps you find uh, uh, components with the visual tools like uh, you have on the right of the screen. The open cloud uh, directory is now also a brochure that, you, that uh, you can find and I will distribute it at the end, which helps you uh, find 20 of the 75 comp uh, projects in the cloud that we already identified. And from there, you can uh, go to the, uh, each asset of the, the project. 
and uh, look for more details about the architectures and also about the code of the open cloud uh, components. This is the uh, several steps that we are using regarding the testing of uh, code. So I won't get into any more details, but basically it provides a, a quality report for each code, as I said, with eight criteria. And uh, regarding the brochure, we finally um, provided this to seven cloud projects the, um, the quality check by Ocean Label and uh, the reviewed by Ocean Label to 20, uh, 20, the first 20 cloud projects. <coughs> so how does it work so regarding the functional mapping? Um, for instance, if you, uh, look, if you are looking for a provisioning um, component to provide to provision resource on the cloud, you can click on the, on the block and you will have the list of the, the projects that will provide you such functions. But as you will see, there are many more uh, navigation tools in, uh, behind the Open Cloud directory. And we, did, we didn't reinvent the wheel. We used the reference architecture inspired by ITU and ISO uh, standard bodies. So another way to, to see the, the services is starting to the, from the Open Cloud directory for identification of assets, then mapping which each asset and components on the interoperability framework, then look for the quality and verification of components, and even for collaboration between the components from different uh, clouds that you may, you may use in your, in your own project. So the last part <coughs> is about uh, also promotion of uh, the, the, the open cloud projects, the visibility of the projects that we uh, are improving through uh, webinars and also through uh, traditional classic uh, um, trade shows like uh, Open Cloud Forum in London during uh, <coughs> the cloud, uh, cloud trade shows and others. So there is a relation that you will see uh, between the brochure and the Open Cloud directory. For instance, uh, the 20 projects I mentioned have their own QR code, so you, you scan the QR code and go directly to the details of the, of the cloud projects. <coughs> Examples of uh, dissemination, so as I mentioned, we have organized the Cloud Plug Fest in uh, Madrid last year, in Brussels uh, this year, several cloud shows in Paris, in London, and even in Tokyo this summer. Uh, Cedric was also attending the class uh, event in Slovenia. And Ocean is also contributing to the uh, European-Japan collaboration like Cloud T project. <coughs> so benefits for the community is um, a set of service, in fact, with um, printed publication, online tools, uh, labels, and um, several guides that help developers and project uh, architects to uh, find more useful components uh, uh, regarding their project and also help uh, the projects themselves to find the market and the ecosystem. <coughs> We also use the social, social media and all the possible uh, communication uh, channels to uh, um, increase uh, the visibility of the, of the projects. So recently, it was class uh, twin in September. This year, this week, it's uh, Open World Forum. Next week, it will be OpenStack Summit in Paris. We'll be there and organizing the Open uh, Cloud Day next uh, Wednesday. <coughs> so you are feel free to join us next Wednesday and also next Thursday, 6th of November, for the uh, OW2 annual conference, where we, we, you will discover more projects 
and results from uh, the member of the community. Thank you.